Hey ladies and gents, uh, we have here uh, Andrew with his uh, Jeep, a, um, a Rubicon, nice uh, setup, overlanding setup. We'll go uh, around a few of the features that he has on his uh, nice rig, so come and check it out. What year is your... Uh... 2011. 2011? Yeah, 2011 uh, Rubicon automatic. Um, did a little bit of work, uh, had the... Uh, the front axle sleeved and gusseted and, and uh, reinforced. You know, upgraded all the drag links and tie rods and everything else. Put the anti rock on because the uh, yeah. electronic sway bar disconnect uh, crapped out uh, oh, okay. 3,000 kilometers over warranty. Holy. So, so yeah. it's easier, and then you don't have to get underneath or whatever, do it manually. So, um, but other than that, a winch on the front, stock engine 3.8. Um, we got a snorkel, one of the uh, Rugged Ridge, one of the original ones there, and then basically put, picked up these doors last year and kind of liked the look of the two-tone, so just a little bit of scrub and paint and painted the, painted the bottoms and kept the tops black to match the, uh, match the uh, soft top. Yeah. 35-inch um, tires, just picked up some dirt tracks from uh, Canadian Tire there and uh, have those mounted on a set of Pro Comps. So. Um, got a Rhino Rack uh, 270 awning, which is great for uh, getting some shade and getting out of the sun. So opens up and covers covers the whole side on the driver's side and the back end for uh, for cooking and whatever else. Uh, nice inside, and there's really not much. It's all been stripped out. Got rid of got rid of all the carpets. Made sure they can clean it out real easy. And then uh, basically took out the back seats to give some more room. There's the mutt. Oh. He's got a little spot there too. So, <laughs> but basically built a little uh, little rack there, to keep him sort of up off the uh, ground and be able to run a drawer. Put some molly panel uh, seat covers on the back to hold some stuff. Nice, nice. What's his name? Uh? That's Jax. Hey, Jax. Hey, buddy. And then uh, basically uh, steel bumper, roof rack. Stay. Same thing. Put a. Tail, uh, tailgate on the back here just to help cook and clean and uh, obviously everything fits in here still oh, nicely organized yeah nicely organized you can run all your camp chairs through there run an axe down there if you want whatever else but it's kind of the plan I put a camera on the back so I can at least see the trailer uh, yeah. picked up this trailer two years ago it's a m101 CDN2 the old Iltis trailer so Picked it up in Nova Scotia and uh, trailered it back and then been working on it over the last two summers and kind of replaced everything that was falling apart rusty and kind of got it set up now with, uh, you know, new axle, uh, new uh, tongue, new fenders that are a bit wider to cover the cover the tires and, yeah. you know, basically uh, can hold some jerry cans in the front, swings this way, holds the rooftop tent that's uh, hard shell that helps uh, make it a nice comfortable uh, sleep when you're out in the... In the in the woods there so it's a little cozy but other than that I mean it's nice like five inches of foam in there and uh, you know having it out the screens all open it's nice and airy in the summer so it doesn't get too hot uh, you can drop out the, uh, the legs here just our V legs along with the tongue and you can help help level out this thing so an extra yeah an extra point to, to extra tow off if you, yeah, in case either go in or, or the trailer goes somewhere I don't want it to go we can pull it out so and basically this levers and opens up and then inside it's storage so so that's an old military trailer. yeah it's an old military trailer used to drag it behind the Iltis uh, trailer so it's yeah. decent uh, it's not too heavy and it's able to maneuver it pretty easily with the handles and everything else so yeah it's designed to be uh, pulled off road so that's the one thing now did, did you add the stabilizer yeah, yourself I, yeah or? I had the stabilizer just princess auto stabilizers just basically put them out and then you can basically drop it down I got a couple blocks of wood that were there you can kind of level it it's got yeah. kind of uh, some uh, levelers on this corner so I can kind of at least get it close as possible to what I need and then obviously with the rake of the the Jeep with these are 32 inch tires and that's 35 a little off right now but we'll get it uh, tuned in so yeah uh, Smitty built heavy uh, tire carrier there and then another uh, awning just a straight awning off the side Okay. Uh, and then I've got it for myself uh, an ARB uh, annex room type yes. thing that fits in there. Nice big screen, really easy. Sometimes I just run the Jeep without the trailer and can sleep in that if I want. Lots yeah. of room for the pup and then uh, 
Yeah, it's, and uh, get away from those uh, mosquitoes exactly. and flies. And, and stand up when you get up in the morning instead of having to be like, you know, yeah, yeah. crunching and trying to get out. So. Exactly. But uh, yeah, I run some kayak racks up there and bring my kayak out for, uh, for fishing or whatever if we get into some good spots. And other than that, normally, you know, there's, uh, there's an it. Northbound Expeditions uh, ba trail bag off the back there, run it like Oh yeah, the garb? Route. Yeah, the garb, yeah. Yep, yeah. And I got that five pound bag for it that fits on that little propane holder on the side. But other than that, I mean, it's really, uh, it's set up this way. Or, uh, it's been great for uh, getting to spots where, you know, expect ATVs and you can take this thing right up to. Yeah, how long have you had the Jeep for? Uh, 2011, so about Okay, okay, new, that's, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, so I've had it for uh, 10 years, so always something to, to work on or change or whatever else. Yeah. But I think I've got it dialed in now, finally, 10 years later. So <laughs> I like it. The There's always it something, There's eh? always something, yeah. So, but other and than that, that. And that's the fun of it, yeah. too, is just, yeah. you know, putting it to your taste and then doing little things now and then as, as you see fit, you know, exactly. as you try out yeah. things and... It's what works for you and what doesn't, and yeah. yeah. And what, what would be the... The one thing you like the most about your Jeep? I think the thing I like most about the Jeep is the fact you can almost go like no doors, roof off, you can really get exposure to the you know, yeah. the air and, the, and you can really feel the outside, right? Like, yeah, you, and, and talking about that, uh, we noticed that on your, uh, that you do have a soft top and that you can actually take, take it off. A lot of people that have those racks, they have the hard tops usually, right? Yeah. And for me, a Jeep is a big part of the Jeep is taking the door the doors off, yeah. taking the the roof off, or taking it down at least, or actually just maybe opening it up, and just to feel, you know, feel outside. And uh, yeah. those uh, that's the only down downside about those racks. But you you've done it nicely because you you can still. Yeah. So uh, so normally, like if I'm not running everything on the roof, like the basket and everything, then I usually take two of the crossbars across and then it allows me to at least flop back yeah, the yeah. top. So uh, just for usually when all the windows are off and uh, the doors are half or even totally off, I usually like just like the roof on anyways, just to get some sun protection and yes. just everything. But other yeah. than that, I mean, you know, the air conditioner yeah. gets barely turned on in the summer, right? Cause you just ride with the doors yeah. open or whatever. Exactly. Else, right? If it gets wet, you hose it off on the inside. It's, it's yeah. probably more pine needles and bark and everything inside <laughs> the inside of it, you know, so. And, and is that a Jeep? a uh, vehicle that you uh, use uh, 12 months out of the year? Uh, I, I usually t I keep it in the, now I put it in the garage in the winter, just okay. kind of work on working on it and whatever it needs to get done. Yeah. Um, and then just as soon as the good weather comes out, keep the salt off and just try to make it last a little yeah. bit uh, a little bit longer. Right. But overall, I think, yeah, it's, it's worked well and it's, the engine's still going strong for a 3.8, so I can't complain about 3. that. 3.8? Yeah, it's the, uh, yeah. About when did they change to the 3.6? 2012. Okay. Yeah, I just missed it. So. Okay. But yeah, I think I got 217 or 18,000 kilometers wow. on it. So it's good. And yeah. It's definitely not getting as many kilometers as it used to, but you know, easily put on, uh, you know, easily a couple thousand for uh, for trips. You know. So, yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. No, it's great. Uh, great rig.